Hello everyone and welcome to day 4 of buff breakdowns of the anniversary 7 buffs we back and this time live stream edition and chances are if, I, if I'm streaming like I'm scheduled to all of the um, upcoming ones will be done on a stream as well so there you go we got chat with me as well they're gonna be saying some very intellectual things as always so today we got a four star assassin buff in summer ushi and a one star rider buff in bart and obviously this one was uh, obvious because he's literally the only one star rider in the game so we already knew he was gonna get buffed but um, once again, my prediction for the uh, four star was wrong. My prediction was Guchan, and now they they seemingly did the same thing they did with Summer, Sh uh, not Summer, <laughs> Void Shiki, uh, who got her buff yesterday the same time her raid up started, and today Ushi got her raid up at the same time as this buff started, so they co coincided nicely. So. Uh, this is pretty bad for Summer Abigail fans because chances are the buff in two days, which is the uh, five star foreigner buff, it's probably going to be Voyager because his rate up starts on the same day and Abyss is two days later. Don't lose hope, it could still happen, but chances are, looking at this pattern so far from the past two days, it's going to be Voyager. Anyway, enough of that. We're going to talk about day four buffs now. So starting off with Summer Ushi. Yes, a summer unit indeed. Even if it's not Abigail, we at least got one. So Summer Ushi, huh? And this time, uh, it's no longer just a skill buff. We got an MP buff, the first of the entire batch. It took four days, but we finally have one. So what was her MP like before? Um, AoE quick removes offensive buffs. Uh, after damage, but since it's not like defensive buffs as well, I guess it doesn't matter too much if it's after or before damage. And then also after damage, quick resistance down for three turns on a 20% base on the OC. Even if it's uh, or after damage, because it's three turns and 20% on base, I always felt like at least the OC was fairly effective. So it was never really a god awful MP. And also a five hitter MP on quick AoE meant that she was definitely just gonna crap out so many stars. In fact, she is still to the this day one of the best star generators in the entire game for sure but now what did they do so obviously we get the standard damage upgrade and and nowadays they also do other stuff as well and the other stuff in this case was that they added a second new normal effect not the scaling one like the um arcade one uh, but a flat 150 percent damage modifier against lawful alignment uh, enemies huh so that's an interesting one was not expecting that if i were to buffer um did not cross my mind but i guess it's a lore thing anyway yeah i feel like it's fairly legit now i did the math beforehand as well uh, uh for Lawful uh, servants, at least. Uh, obviously, some enemies, I suppose, can have uh, alignments as well. It's mostly on servants only, though. But for servants, there's 13 lawful riders and 9 lawful berserkers. So those are, like, her best case scenarios. I didn't list everyone else because I felt like only listing the best ones. So 22 total for full effective damage for her in terms of uh, lawful servants. So honestly, not too bad, I would say. That's a pretty decent amount of uh, good targets for her now. And obviously, just with the uh, damage upgrade alone, the MP is going to be hitting quite a bit harder as well. Um, I do like it, though. I do like it. I would say it's still a pretty good buff for sure. Even if it's not, like, groundbreaking or anything like that. Now, on the Assassin tier list I made, I actually did have her on a very solid A. Mostly because um, of her amazing star generation and her really good gains as well. Like, she can spam her MP quite easily. Ironically, she's not really a great, like, loop farmer. But in terms of, like, challenge quests, her MP is definitely very spammable for sure. So both a star and MP generation were always good on her. With this, I feel like one of her main drawbacks uh, was that her damage wasn't super high, especially on the MP. So honestly, with this, I feel feel like I could bump her into A+. Because this is, this was one of her bigger problems, the lack of uh, damage in the MP. And especially if you're going to hit that lawful mod, it's going to be a very noticeable difference for sure. It's going to be like night and day. Well, I wouldn't really compare her to Grey directly because that's kind of unfair. Because she's mostly here because of the buster meta supports and her being able to buster loop farm. But Kichi, I feel like, yes, I, I, I can see the comparison easily. Yes, Kichi farms better for sure, but honestly... I think Ushi might be better on like bosses to be honest, so I feel like it's fair to put them on the same tier in my opinion. And also worth noting that the changes to quick chains obviously help her a lot as well. 
So moving on to Bard's buff then. Um, yeah, again, we saw this coming because he's the only one star rider in the game. And this one again is a skill buff. So let's see what they did with good old Mr. Bart. He was always in an interesting position, maybe not in a good way. He's like half DPS, half supports. I think if he had a support MP, he could potentially be a very solid choice in some setups. But even after this buff, I don't know. Would I really use him over some other like DPS slash supports? Hard to say. But anyway, let's take a look at the buff. It's to the second skill. Now, it used to reduce his own absorb by 100% for three turns. And keep in mind, when absorb is reduced, the percentage works differently. So a minus 100% absorb means a lot. It means he's basically not really gonna get any stars. Unless your allies are like berserkers, then he might get some. But yeah, this is basically like giving away his stars is what that means. A lot of people don't realize how this works. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't either. But that's how that works. And then also... Um, a decent 40% crit damage for your party for three turns on a six turn cooldown, which I definitely dis disagreed on. Six turn, it would be too long for a cooldown for this skill, in my opinion. Now, luckily, the buff, first of all, addresses the cooldown. It's now a five turn cooldown, which makes way more sense. The crit damage got up for, to 50% from 40%, which looks like it's just a way nicer looking number. It won't be a big difference in the damage, but the number just make, makes more sense this way. And also now comes with a flat 10% party MP battery, which again, solid. And keep in mind, he's a one star. So to have something like this is definitely like uh, luxurious. For the lack of better word i suppose so yeah now with the, with this buff i think this skill is actually very solid and again especially for a one star servant really good but here's the thing i still don't know how much i would pick bart myself i don't really see too many cases where he would be like an amazing choice to be honest he's like a half quick crit like damage supports I just, I don't know. He helps the team quite a bit, but would I use him over someone like Hans or like the new Shu Fu for the really low star options or some free options as well? I don't know, man. Still hard to say. And I wish his MP was a support one. If this was a support MP, he could be a lot better, honestly. And again, one big drawback is that he is a one star, meaning his stats are horrible. So he can die very easily, even if you're fighting uh, like uh, casters. Now on my tier list, I did have him at a C+, which is around average. I feel like I can bump him to be among one stars for sure, but probably not a full tier or anything like that, because I still don't really see him being like used a ton, even among like uh, if you have like low star options only. Now, feel free to prove me wrong if you have some amazing use cases for him. I'd love to hear them actually, because I'm always down for some cool use cases for servants. But uh, I just, quick thoughts on this buff and him as a servant again. I just don't see him being someone that would see a lot of use even after his, so... Yeah, honestly, not the most exciting buffs today of all the days so far. Obviously, both servants are definitely better from this, but I feel like these buffs won't really make too big of an impact for the performance of the servants uh, compared to what they actually were. So to recap, Ushi MP buff... Um, Definitely helps with one of her bigger weaknesses, which, which was the weak MP damage. So even at MP1 now, you could do decent damage matching an MP5 uh, Kichi if you hit that lawful alignment damage mod as well, which is very solid. And for the Bart buff, he, is, he has way more like uh, support um, weight now, but I, I don't think he'll be picked much more than what he was even before this, even if this is, makes him better, so meh. Now, before I end, I'm gonna do my predictions for tomorrow as well. So far, besides the first two days, I've been kind of off. My prediction for tomorrow is a Stolfo for the four-star rider because his first two skills are absolutely horrible. So I, I can see him being very likely. Although Murasaki Rider does have a rate up, but it doesn't coincide with the starting, which has been a theme. So it could be her. I just don't think she needs a buff anyway, but I'm still locking in my... Um, Guess for a Stolfo Rider on the 4-star Rider here. And for the 3-star Archer, um, I thought about this, there's many options, but I ended up choosing Uriel of all servants. Maybe a buff to Vampirism or her basic charm is what I'm thinking, but it could be uh, like Kid Gil or Tota or uh, honestly anyone, I suppose. Even Billy and um, maybe even Robin, I don't know. So there you go, Uriel and Astolfo are my predictions for tomorrow. There you go, that's it for today's buff breakdown. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a solid and press the thumbs up button, helps out a lot. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll be back today, tomorrow with day 5 as planned, probably on stream again. Chat will be there, I'll be there, and um, 
stay tuned otherwise i hope you guys have a great rest of your day all right a peace out